Most people are shocked when they find out that omega-3s have been proven to decrease nerve pain. Omega-3s play a big role in the repair of the myelin sheath of nerves. Imagine waking up every day with your feet on fire or feeling like needles are constantly prickling your hands. What if it felt like someone was stabbing you in the calf with an ice pick? This is the harsh reality for millions of people battling peripheral neuropathy. The pain and symptoms commonly start off very mild, but with time, they can intensify to crippling levels. And medications like gabapentin and Lyrica only work to take the edge off in about 50% of the people. So for many, it's a life sentence of severe symptoms and pain, sleepless nights, and an abysmal quality of life. But what if there was a natural way to fight back? A way to not only reduce that burning, stabbing pain, but also support nerve health from the inside out. Well, there is, and it's omega-3 fatty acids. Research reveals that this may be just the game changer you need. So today, we're uncovering the science behind these powerful nutrients and how you can use them to ease your pain, restore nerve function, and give you a chance to reclaim your life. So settle in because you don't want to miss this. Coming up. Hey there, health warriors, welcome back. I wanna take a deep dive into how omega-3s can help peripheral neuropathy sufferers in many ways, but especially with helping to reduce the downright horrific pain and symptoms associated with it. Now, just about everyone knows that omega-3s have been proven to be extremely effective for supporting heart health and fighting heart disease, and many people are also aware that this fatty acid improves brain health and cognitive function. But it may come as a bigger surprise that omega-3s have also been proven to reduce nerve pain and assist in the repair of damaged nerves. So let's look at how this happens. Omega-3 fatty acids are made up of EPA and DHA, which have very strong anti-inflammatory properties that help reduce neural inflammation or the inflammation around nerves. They reduce nerve inflammation by decreasing the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines like tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin-1 beta, and interleukin-6, as well as eicosanoids like prostaglandins and more. These pro-inflammatory molecules make pain receptors fire more easily with an exaggerated pain response. So with increased cytokines and eicosanoids, nerves are more likely to send pain signals in response to stimuli that wouldn't normally cause pain, like a bed sheet or clothing rubbing against your leg. These pro-inflammatory molecules have been found to disrupt normal nerve function by increasing oxidative stress, and they also impair the structural integrity of nerve cells, resulting in nerve damage and degeneration. But there's more great news. Omega-3s promote molecules known as resolvins and protectins, which decrease the cytokine and eicosanoid molecules and reduce inflammation. This also reduces pain signals. Okay, it still gets better. Omega-3 fatty acids also have antioxidant effects, which help protect nerve membranes from oxidative stress and damage leading to nerve pain. This is especially important for anyone suffering from neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's or Lewy body dementia, Parkinson's, MS, ALS, or Huntington's disease, all associated with increased inflammation. Omega-3 fatty acids play an important role in slowing down the nerve degeneration and damage associated with these diseases. You might not realize that omega-3s also support and maintain a healthy myelin sheath, the protective layer around nerves. DHA in particular is concentrated in myelin, providing stability and proper functioning. Many people suffering from moderate to severe peripheral neuropathy have to take medications like gabapentin or Lyrica to manage their symptoms, which really can get extremely bad. There are a couple of downsides to these meds, however. One, they're typically only effective in about 50% of the people taking them. And two, these meds do absolutely nothing to repair nerve damage. But research has shown that omega-3s not only help to decrease nerve pain, but actually support the repair of damaged nerves and improve nerve sig signaling. 
But here's something that's important for you to understand. Pain medications work by forcing a physiological response in the body. They'll either forcefully activate, inhibit, or alter normal cell functions, which is how you get fast pain relief. However, when you're dealing with natural supplements like fish oil, it doesn't force a reaction in the body. Instead, it provides the cells with the tools they need to restore normal biological functions and combat ongoing abnormal functions. So this means it's a much slower process to get pain relief than when you take a drug. Now, I'm sharing this with you because I want you to realize omega-3s won't immediately decrease your neuropathy pain and symptoms. It's going to take some time. So the question is, how much time will it take to see a decrease in pain and symptoms from the omega-3s? Well, the response to omega-3 supplementation can vary widely based on things like the type of nerve pain you have, your dietary habits, and other underlying illnesses you might have. For people with milder cases of peripheral neuropathy, research has shown that they may see decreased pain and symptoms within four to six weeks of starting higher doses of omega-3s, while people with more severe symptoms may take up to three to six months before they see a reduction, especially if they have chronic underlying inflammation from other illnesses or poor diet or even lack of sleep. So if you're suffering from severe symptoms, getting much faster pain relief is usually necessary. In these cases, you may need to use gabapentin or Lyrica to help alleviate your pain. The good news is you won't need to be stuck on them for years. You can use them short term while your fish oil is working in the background. By about the third to fourth month mark, you should be able to start weaning off of the gabapentin or the Lyrica. So right about now, you're probably wondering, how much do I need to take? Clinical studies typically use doses that range from 1,000 to 3,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA per day. Now I can tell you from experience, for our patients with severe peripheral neuropathy, Dr. C and I recommend between 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams of EPA DHA daily. We find much better results with these doses. Now, let's talk about the best sources to get your omega-3s from. In your diet, you can consume the necessary amount of omega-3s by eating fatty fish like wild-caught Alaskan salmon, such as sockeye, coho, or chinook, Atlantic mackerel. This type of mackerel is much lower in heavy metals than other species of mackerel. Or you can eat herring and sardines. But remember, you're aiming to take in between 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams of EPA DHA daily. So if you eat four ounces of salmon, you're likely taking in about 1,100 to 1,500 milligrams of EPA DHA, which isn't quite enough. In this case, you would need to supplement with a good quality fish oil. Okay, so let's look at how you identify good quality fish oils. There are literally hundreds of fish oils on the market, and most of them are pretty crappy. So let me show you how to weed the good ones out from the bad ones. Most people aren't aware that fish oil can come in two different forms, an ethyl ester form, which may appear on the label as ethyl ester, ethyl esterized, or ethanol, or the second type is a triglyceride form. You should only use the triglyceride form of fish oil and always avoid the ethyl ester form. But in order to do that, you have to read the labels. Now, when you're shopping, it's not always clear which form you may have because not all companies tout that they're using triglycerides. But the way you'll know is by looking to see if ethyl ester is listed on the label. If it's not, then more than likely you have the correct form, the triglyceride form. And here's why the triglyceride form is much better. First, studies have proven that the triglyceride form of EPA DHA will elevate the omega-3s in your body much faster, and it has a far superior bioavailability, meaning it penetrates into cells faster and easier. Second, studies have also shown that the triglyceride form does not go rancid quickly because it's much more resistant to higher temperatures and oxidative stress. In contrast, the ethyl ester form breaks down quickly in warmer temperatures, causing it to go rancid very quickly. So why is this important? Well, if you take fish oil that's rancid, it can upset your stomach. But even more important than that, it can increase your levels of ROS, or reactive oxygen species, which increases inflammation. 
The next thing you want to check when shopping for quality fish oil is that it doesn't contain any seed oils like sunflower, safflower, soybean oil, grape seed, or any other type of seed oil. If you're not familiar with the toxic effects of seed oils, make sure you watch our video, Avoid Seed Oils for Nerve Repair. I'll leave a link for you below. And for those of you that are vegan, there are algae-based omega-3 oils, but I have to tell you, I have yet to find a brand that makes a clean source. Every brand that I've come across contained either cornstarch, carrageenan, or seed oil. And I looked at close to 10 brands. So if any of you has found a good quality, clean source of algae omega-3s, please let me know. I'd love to check it on out to see if it meets our standards. Now, I know some of you are going to ask, Doc, what do you think about krill oil, cod liver oil, salmon oil, or even calamari oil? These are all great oils, and I do recommend them. What I especially love about krill and salmon oil is they contain astaxanthin, a powerful antioxidant that gives them their red-orange color. The only disadvantage is that it's difficult to take these oils and reach doses of 3,000 milligrams to 4,000 milligrams of EPA, DHA, DLA. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't take them. I recommend taking two different types of fish oil, the Nordic Naturals Ultimate, along with cod liver oil or krill oil. You can combine these together to meet your 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams of fish oil daily. Okay, next that takes me to the burning question you have. Which fish oil is the best? These are the fish oils that Dr. C and I have vetted. We use them for ourselves, our patients, and even our beautiful fur babies who get fish oil every day. First, I'm always going to recommend taking the liquid fish oil as opposed to capsules. The biggest reason is in order to get in 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams of EPA, DHA, if you're taking a capsule, you might have to take up to 10 capsules a day, which really will be pretty challenging. For the ones that come in 1,000 milligram doses per capsule, the capsule sizes are huge. So, you know, taking a capsule um, can make it certainly more challenging. This makes the liquid a far better option. You can take smaller doses of the liquid fish oil and easily get in 3,000 to 4,000 milligrams. And don't worry about the taste because most companies use a natural orange or a natural lemon flavor in the fish oil. And that's not to be confused with natural flavors. One of the things that I do is I place two teaspoons of fish oil in one ounce of organic apple juice along with my liquid vitamin D3 and K2. It goes down very easy like this. I even allow my diabetics to do this because the amount of apple juice is so small. Okay, here are the brands. I'm going to say the company name first, followed by the name of, of the fish oil. We recommend Metagenics Omegagenics EPA DHA 2400. Now, this is a horrible name for this fish oil. I really wish the company would change it because it's insanely long and hard to remember, but it is a good quality fish oil. I also like Nordic Naturals Ultimate Omega, and I also use this brand for my fur babies, but I use Omega-3 Pet because it's not flavored with lemon. Although I appreciate the lemon flavoring for myself, I don't think my dog or cats would especially be pleased. Now, it's important for you to know, I'm not getting paid by any of these companies. These are actually the oils that Dr. C and I use. Okay, the last topic I wanna touch on is side effects from fish oil. If you have a sensitive digestive system and you commonly experience gas, bloating, or acid reflux, then you may experience mild side effects with taking high doses of fish oil. These can include burping, one of the most commonly reported side effects, regurgitation, or heartburn. It can also include upset stomach or mild nausea. This only affects a small percentage of people, approximately 5 to 15 percent, and these effects are less likely to occur when taking the triglyceride-based fish oil and more likely to occur with an ethyl ester-based fish oil. The good news is, if you do have these side effects, it's really easy to avoid them on a regular ongoing basis by doing a couple of very simple things. One, start with a lower dose of fish oil and gradually increase each week to give your body time to acclimate and adjust to digesting the oil. Two, take your dose of fish oil with a meal. And three, if you already know, know that oils and fats sit heavy in your stomach when you eat, Take the digestive enzyme with your fish oil called lipase. This will help you digest down the oil much easier.
Now, the next side effects I'll cover are very important because many well-intentioned doctors will convince you that it's too dangerous for you to take fish oil when it's actually not. When you take high doses of fish oil, which is considered to be over 2,000 milligrams per day, while you're also taking NSAIDs like ibuprofen and naproxen, anticoagulants or antiplatelet drugs like warfarin, xarelto, or plavix, or even aspirin, you may have an increased risk of bleeding, which is the same thing that occurs by taking these medications. Now, I know this may so sound alarming, but it can actually be a good thing. And here's what I mean by that. When you're on antiplatelet or anticoagulant drugs, your doctor will monitor your bleeding risk by ordering two tests, an INR and a PT, or a prothrombin test. These tests measure how long it takes for your blood to clot. If you're taking a high dose of fish oil along with these medications and it takes far too long for your blood to clot, then the easy remedy is for your doctor to reduce your anticoagulant or your antiplatelet drug, which is great because we know the less medication you're on, the better it is for your health. And here's what statistics show. 69% of all drugs will have 10 to 100 different side effects associated with them while 22% of medications have over 100 side effects. Only 9% of meds have less than 10 side effects. That's the largest reason we see people start off taking two medications and 10 years later, they're on seven or more medications simply to combat the side effects that have occurred while taking the original meds. Now, another side effect is that omega-3s have been shown in clinical studies to decrease elevated blood pressure. So if you're on an antihypertensive drug like lisinopril or amlodipine, your blood pressure may drop too low. In my humble opinion, this is actually good news because it means your doctor can reduce the dose of your medication or potentially eliminate it. And the last side effect is that high dose omega-3 fatty acids may lower blood sugar levels too low for those on diabetic med medications like metformin or glipizide. Again, this will actually work to your advantage because your doctor will be able to decrease your dose of the medication. It's just important that you monitor your glucose levels daily so you know where they're at. And there you have it, health warriors. The power of omega-3s goes far beyond heart and brain health. It can help you fight back against nerve pain while simultaneously repairing and regenerating the damaged nerves. Remember, it's not an overnight fix, but it is a long-term ally working from the inside out, giving your nerves the necessary tools to repair and restore itself. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share it with as many people as possible. This really helps our YouTube algorithm so more people can find us. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel to become part of our Neforia tribe. And one last thing, don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we release new, new videos each week. Here's to better days ahead where pain doesn't define your life, but the choices you make do. I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. I'm going to say the company name first. Ball, bleh, ball, bleh, oh. <laughs> Let's try that one again. <laughs> All right. Prothrombin. Let me see if I can say that right. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs>